You may have heard the term VRAM before, especially from tech folk like me talking about graphics cards, but maybe you're not too sure of what it is or why it's different from your system RAM. All of that and more will be covered in this video, so stick around. So what is VRAM? Well, it stands for Video Random Access Memory, and like its name suggests, it is short-term memory for your graphics card. Now, it is actually completely separate from your system memory. Those two don't directly interact with each other, or at least they don't need to work together in the same, uh, you know, being the same type, for example. So while your graphics card may have GDDR6, for example, like both of these cards, your system memory can still be DDR4 without any problems, especially considering that the GDDR6 is for graphics rather than the standard double data rate 4 uh, or DDR4, which is with your system. So looking at the VRAM then, what is it used for? Well, it's often referred to as the frame buffer and acts as just that. It is the place where the partially and fully rendered frames sit and are copied from to then be copied to your display. It's also used to store textures from games and a load of other stuff. So when you're doing any graphics heavy processing, so video games, even sometimes video editing and AI acceleration these days, the graphics memory or the VRAM is what's used to supply your graphics core, your GPU with data. With that said, that's getting a bit deep into the explanation of how graphics cards work. So if you do wanna know more about that, then check out the video in the cards up above, which will explain all of that for you. So on the note of VRAM usage, you may be wondering why different cards have different amounts, right? Because the RTX 2060 that I have here has six gigabytes of VRAM, whereas the RTX 2080 Ti that's just behind it, that one has 11 gigabytes. So why the difference? Well, when you're running on especially higher resolution displays, and especially as games get more and more detailed, it requires more and more VRAM to be able to render everything on screen at the correct resolution. So for example, if you're gaming at 1440p or 4K, you're going to be using a lot more VRAM than if you're gaming at just 1080p or even 720p. This doesn't matter too much on the 1080p and generally even 1440p realm for, for the most part. So six gigabytes or even in some cases four gigabytes will be plenty for those applications. But as I said, as you get higher in the uh, resolution and detail settings, you're going to be wanting more VRAM available to you to be able to play your games at reasonable frame rates while still getting the, the quality that you expect. I hope this video has been useful for you in working out what VRAM is, what it's used for and why cards have different amounts. If you have any questions, as always, leave those in the comments down below. And if you have any suggestions for future Tech Explained videos, then also do let me know down there too. If you want to support the channel and keep me making these videos on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday basis with live streams on Thursday nights where we answer your tech questions live, then check out the links in the description down below. There's an Amazon and Overclock GK affiliate link. Uh, both of those are free for you to use. They don't cost you anything, but they're massively helped me out. Uh, so I genuinely thank anyone who uses them. You can also support me directly on Patreon. If you fancy, check out merch for hoodies or t-shirts uh, down in the links below, as well as private internet access and Hubble Mundo. Uh, so so PIA is a great and cheap VPN and Humble Bundle is a great way to get cheap games and support charities too. Of course, you can check out the rest of the Tech Explained series or other videos over there. And of course, do subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video.